What's up YouTube? It's Young Men's Daily Red Pill. Back with another video. Thank you guys for clicking on today's video, liking my content, sharing my content, helping me spread this red pill message. As I always say, the earlier you take the red pill, the better off you are in life. It saves you from heartache, stress, pain, anxiety. You just focus on yourself, your goals, and you become the greatest version of yourself. And you don't let anyone else's opinions influence you. Because as I always say, you should be focused on you. Not anyone else, not what anyone else is doing at your age, not what your sisters think, not what your mother thinks, not what your brother thinks, not what anyone close to you thinks, but focusing on yourself. All right, guys, today's video, I wanted to talk about, I, I recently got back to work, okay? So I got back to my nine to five, and I wanted to share a story with you guys that is extremely red pill. Walking around with this red pill lens, once you take the red pill, you see so many different things. And a lot of you guys realize this as well because I get emails from you guys or my patron members, my patron subscribers, shout out to you guys. You guys will let me know certain stories that have come to your attention, that have uh, presented themselves, and you're able to see different scenarios and situations now through a red pill lens. Because once you've taken the red pill, you really can't go back. And you see everything for what it is. Today's story though, I wanted to talk about how women, especially younger women, I'm talking about millennials or even younger like Gen Z, they have no idea what they're doing in life. The majority don't. The majority of women have no clue what they're doing in life. She gets tattoos early. She covers her body in tattoos. She sleeps with a ton of guys and rejects all the good guys, all the guys that we're in school for uh, doctor's degrees, uh, master's degrees, um, that are working hard on engineering, whatever it is, a STEM field, or are just improving themselves and have a plan and a goal to sleep around and mess around with guys that have dropped out, guys that are losers, guys that live at home, guys that uh, continue to uh, live off of food stamps, guys that don't want to self-improve themselves. She continues to choose these guys over and over again because she has no idea what she wants out of life, and she lets her hypergamy control her. In addition to letting her hypergamy control her, some of the other bad choices she makes is she takes a lot of drugs, she drinks, smokes, does all kinds of things that are detrimental to her health. She gains a lot of weight. She might have a child out of wedlock. She's in debt to credit card companies, school loans, student loans for a degree that she's not going to use because she's going to end up being a barista or a waitress. There's a lot of things that can go on and on about. All right. But what I wanted to talk about today was this girl at my work who I happened to be working with last shift. And I noticed because her phone was uh, upside down, it was flipped on its back and she had one of those clear phone cases. So I was able to kind of see like she had like a Polaroid in there and it was her in bed with this guy that I recognized wasn't her boyfriend, wasn't the guy that always brought her drinks from Starbucks, wasn't the guy that always brought her Jamba Juice, wasn't the guy that came in on Valentine's Day with a box of chocolates. It wasn't this guy, okay? It wasn't the nice guy, the boyfriend, who she had been with for four years. So I asked her, I said, what happened to your uh, last boyfriend? Is that is this someone new? She said, oh yeah, well, what happened was I broke up with my, my ex, who was the old boyfriend, the one that used to bring her all this stuff, about a month ago, all right? And she already moved on with this guy. They're taking pictures in bed with the Polaroid, and he, he just looked like a, a bad boy kind of guy, all right? He just had that look to him. But then I said, oh, okay, cool. Well, how did you guys meet? You know, you know me playing devil's advocate, trying to get some information for the brotherhood. I have to do it, guys. But I get some information out of her and she says, oh, well, he actually has been my best friend for over three years. We've been best friends since high school. I'm not joking, guys. She said, we have been best friends since high school. So she's known this guy for maybe even longer than three years, to be honest, because I don't know how old she is, but she's older. And the way she worded it was what really confused me, but it also shows female logic. And it just shows you that you really can't trust these females with their male best friends, their male best friends who are actually banging them. But she goes on and tells me, oh yeah, me and my best friend recently decided that we had feelings for each other and we wanted to give it a chance, that we wanted to go out. What really stuck out to me and what should stick out to you is the fact that number one, this guy's been her best friend for years and her ex allowed this to happen. Her ex knew they were hanging out as best friends for this long of time. As I always say, a guy doesn't just stick around in a girl's life or a woman's life unless he wants something out of her, all right? It could be business, um, majority of the time it's not, but it could be some type of like business thing. 
Majority of the time, though, it's honestly this guy's trying to sleep with your girlfriend. Or this guy's trying to sleep with your wife if you're married. That's the honest truth. And us guys, we're my, we, we always are thinking about trying to get in females' uh, pants. You know what I'm saying? We're always trying to think about how can we squeeze our way, wiggle our way in this woman's pants. We have no intention of actually getting to know her as a woman. That's the honest to God truth. We have no intention. We, we literally hear them speak sometimes and we're just... We're literally looking at their bodies just like this. We're zoned out. We could care less about what they're talking about. We're just wondering how we can get from point A to point B in the bedroom. That's the honest to God truth. All right. So if you feel offended by that, this is how, how guys think. All right. Now, are, am I saying there's exceptions to this rule? And am I saying that there's a possibility that this guy, that guys, certain guys can have exceptions? Well, he's either gay, number one, I think, or number two, he wants something else maybe besides sexually. He just likes her talking to her intellectually, which doesn't still doesn't make sense to me. But I'm saying there might be a small percentage of guys out there like that, but they might also have to re-examine their sexuality. Anyways, so she's telling me basically that she just broke up with this long-term boyfriend who it seemed like she had a really solid relationship with, all right? They had been dating for a long time. I mean, four to five years is a pretty long, long time, especially when you're young. I feel like a lot of people tend to have uh, six months relationships to three month relationships. So even a year is long, they had a four year relationship. And she goes on to telling me that right after she gets involved with her best friend that had been her best friend and played the long game all these years. And I'm thinking in my head, like this guy really just pulled off the super simp move of just being her best friend. And it actually worked in his advantage, in his favor. Do I think they'll work out? Hell no. If she could do this once, she could do it again. And I know how this girl is. She's very free spirited. She's very like in the moment type of feel good vibe person. Like she smokes, she drinks, she turns up a lot. So I don't think this relationship's gonna work last that long. But it just stuck out to me how fast she was able to move on, all right? Like I said, at the end of the relationship or even during the relationship, because this guy had been around for a long time. This guy, this is no accident, this is no mistake. He had been plotting this since the beginning. He had always felt feelings of attachment to her or feeling sexual feelings towards her. He's always been plotting in the darkness, waiting for his opportunity, waiting for you as the boyfriend to make a mistake, waiting for you as the boyfriend to slip up one time and then he's gonna strike. That's what's gonna happen. So now that I told you the story, the reason that I really wanted to share this story is because this female has no idea what she wants to do with her life, all right? She just graduated. And she got a degree in like art or something. No offense to people that have degrees in arts or art or whatever, but she has a degree in art. And this female has no idea what she wants to do with her life. However, her ex-boyfriend who she was with for four years, who happened to be older than her, he had an idea of what he wanted to do with life. And he was already on his career path. He already was established. But she decided that, hey, you know what? The grass is greener on the other side. So I'm going to throw away this relationship that I've built with this guy that's actually working towards something and bettering himself. And I'm gonna mess around with my best friend. And I'm gonna decide to end things with this guy and test out the grass, see if it's greener on the other side. But what really bothered me is how simpy her ex was too, because he's still trying to get back in her life, she said. And I was just like, listen to her like, man, this, this is crazy, man. Like. <laughs> That guy's a simp. But I used to be in that same situation where like you try to get back with your ex after they've already done you wrong. And you think, you think for no reason, I don't know what it is, you think that you have some op you have some chance of like coming back into her life. So basically she threw away a good man, someone that had a good head on his shoulders, and they had a plan for after she graduated on what they were gonna do together. They were gonna buy a house. And this guy's already established. He has his career together. He comes from a, a nice family. He has his career together. He seemed like a good guy. He would always come into work and take care of her, take care of her needs, would always be supportive. It seemed like they had a good relationship in person at least. But she decides to throw that away just because she wants to date her best friend before uh, settling down with this guy. And this is what I tell you guys. She has no idea what she's doing in life. So when a woman does these kinds of things, just look at it like literally like a little child. Like she has no idea what she's doing with life at all. They make horrible decisions with money, with men. Uh, that's the majority of where they make their horrible decisions. But in just in life in general, a lot of these women, especially in my generation, horrible decision makers. You can't just really put it on them. They're literally wired like this. I don't know what it is. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to share this story. Let me know your thoughts on it. And let me know if you have similar stories that you want to share in the comment section below. Like the video, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I'll see you next time.